it's me, Excanadensis. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I post new doll related videos almost every single day and today's video is going to be a haul. So this is a box of Mycene dolls from Europe and if you're not super familiar with Mycene, it's one of my favorite doll lines. They're really nostalgic to me. I just really like them and a lot of them weren't really released in large quantities in the US. So adding to my collection has been pretty difficult. My collection has stagnated a lot recently because if they're even available for me to purchase, they're extremely expensive because they just weren't really common in America. They're a lot more common in Europe. So when I saw this Twitter post featuring these dolls, I jumped on it and I'm so grateful and excited uh, about these dolls. So I already cut the box open. So let's open it up together and see what's inside. It's such a weird box. Okay. We have a note, so it says, to Brooke from Low, and it says, you can read my name, also excuse the messy writing, and bad English. Seems fine. Okay. Hi, Brooke. If you're reading this, it means the package arrived safe and well. I want to thank you again for trusting me and buying from me. I really hope you enjoy these dolls and cherish them as much as I did. And then there's a list of all the dolls, but I'm not going to read that out because it would be a spoiler. Um, and it says, um, also, they'll probably need another boil wash. Yours sincerely, Low. Uh, your English writing is absolutely perfect, by the way. Like, I didn't notice a single uh, flaw there, so you're good. Anyways, let's see our dolls. I don't know how they're packed, so... Okay, so we have accessories, which we're going to set aside for now, because they're going to be spoilers. Okay. Each doll is individually wrapped, so let's check them out. So first, this one, I'm guessing Snow Glam or Icy Blink. Ooh, which one's which? <laughs> okay. <gasps> Okay, so this is Snow Glam Kennedy. I believe this was Kennedy at this point, not Barbie, right? Because this is a much later doll. Um, oh my god, she's so cute. So this is now my second Snow Glam doll, but my third Snow Glam doll outfit. So, <laughs> um, oh my gosh, she's so cute. So this is actually one of my like grail lines. I just think they're so interesting, but I'm not sure if they were released in America at all. And if they were, they're very rare here. Uh, but I've noticed they seem to be a lot more common in uh, Europe. So need to start looking at Europe like more when I'm looking for Mycene dolls to buy. Look how beautiful she looks. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. I just love this line because let's just do a line that seems to be based on like 90s in the winter. I love it. And I hope that I can go somewhere snowy this year and take pictures of a bunch of my dolls in these ones, especially because it's just so cute. They're beautiful. I love, love, love this dress. It's very like winks to me. I don't know. Um, love her. I love, I love a winter theme. If that wasn't obvious, um, winter themes are some of my absolute favorite doll themes. So yay. <laughs> so yeah, so that's Snow Glam Kennedy. Watch it just not be Snow Glam and I'm just wrong, but it's fine. Anyway, next, I don't know. Let's find out. Oh, okay. So this is, it's a Delancey from I don't think it's snow glint. Maybe. I don't remember. Sorry. <laughs> um, the outfit wasn't like complete or anything, but I was like, I really want that doll. So it's fine. And the prices were really fair. So I grabbed her and I just thought her outfit was so, so cute. So even if I do get like a fully complete one in the future, it's a really cute dress that I can use for restyles on other types of dolls. And look how gorgeous this doll's face is, by the way. She's so, so pretty. And I'll show you all these guys up close at the end because they're just so gorgeous and I want you to be able to see them. But I love her little bangs. I think she is gorgeous. I really like this. Um, when Delancey has like the the bangs and the brown hair, I think she's really pretty. So beautiful, beautiful doll. If my bangs were co cooperating, we would be kind of similar right now. Beautiful, beautiful. I love how she looks in pink too. I feel like I look terrible in pink, but she looks great. All right, next doll we have. Ah! Okay, so what was it called in Europe? So Salon Safari and Jungleicious are the names of this line, but I don't remember which ones for which uh, territory, but that's okay. So I'm going to venture to guess that this is Chelsea. It's hard to tell with uh, Jungleicious specifically, um, but God, she's cute. So I actually have Jungleicious Kennedy, who I bought from someone on Instagram like two or three years ago, uh, two years ago. And I love, oh my God, her hair. It's so soft. So this line has this really cool gimmick actually, where you can, it does, if you like want to style the hair though, you can't really do this cause it'll mess it up, but you could, <laughs> Uh, turn the hair around. There's like a weird scalp spinning feature so that she can have two different looks. Isn't that cool? I think that's really fun. It's an interesting gimmick. I think it's a fun selling point and it probably looks cool in the commercials, but it doesn't really work in practice. Uh, the most recent doll I can think of that had that was the Descendants Mal doll with the blonde and the purple hair. I don't have that one, but also the uh, Princess and the Popstar dolls have it too. 
doesn't really function very well. I just pick one and then I style their hair really carefully to make it where it actually lays correctly, but it's really fun. And oh my God, her hair is so soft. I love buying dolls from other collectors because their hair is always like so perfect because I can do doll hair reasonably well, but I just don't have this like magic... I don't have the gift. I don't know. But anyway, this doll theme is so, so cute. I really, really like the like animal print theme and they all have the different screenings. Like it's just really cute. Also, I have these shoes already. Do they go to her? And not that they need to, like I don't mind because they match, but if they do, that's actually kind of funny because like, where did I get those shoes? I don't know. I got some like really unusual ones at the thrift store once, like a lot of really cool brats and uh, my scene shoes like all together. And I was like, where are the dolls? Because that would have been nice to have. Um, by the way, I bought all of these dolls as is. Like, for me, with my displays, I don't need the doll to be, like, 100% fully complete and, like, every detail is exact. I don't care. I just, um, if the doll is complete enough and still gives off, like, the essence of what I'm looking for, then I'm happy, you know? Um, but with certain dolls, I'm very, very picky about how complete they are. It just depends. Um, okay. But I'm hunting for a good deal, always. So, this doll, I think this is another Junglicious because I see Zebra. Uh, so this is Delancey, right? Yeah, she's got the mole. Oh, her mole is so light compared to other Delanceys. Interesting. Uh, so this is Junglicious Delancey or Salon Safari Delancey. I always wondered why they changed the names in other countries. It's very weird. Um, yeah, if we get a Madison, I don't remember if there's a Madison in here, but we're gonna have to call her Wesley. Um, but look how cute. So I think this is my favorite of all three of the Junglicious dolls that I have so far because I think her, like, I think the zebra print goes really well. Also, I love the tattoos. Like they all have these tattoos, which is so cute. She has it on her belly and she has it on her chest. I wonder, I wonder if these were like, had any weird articles published about them because they have the tattoos and stuff. But anyway, gorgeous. So she has the dark brown hair with the bangs again, which I really like. And then she has the um, blonde as the other hair color. But she also has this really pretty like caramel brown mixed throughout. She's just, this is a gorgeous doll. Gorgeous, gorgeous doll. And yay, I really like this like mesh material they used for the outfit. This is just, I don't know if they had like, specific silhouettes that they would use for different characters but I feel like I have several Chelsea's that have this exact situation going on I'm just noticing that because like these are very different outfits for the same lineup um but this is such like a Chelsea outfit I don't know I don't know anyway <laughs> next up oh well I kind of opened this one on accident so this one next so this is I believe Golden Bling Westley um off the top of my head uh, if you've watched all the videos of mine, you've heard me say this before, but I don't like to do too much research on dolls that are on my wishlist that I don't already have because then it will, like, influence me to, like, obsess over them more and spend more on them instead of just waiting. Um, so I, I'm pretty sure this is from Golden Bling. Golden Bling is one of my holiest holy grail doll lines, like, in general. I think they're so cool, especially one in box because the packaging is so cool. Like, it's so interesting. Um, and I think this is just a... Golden Bling Madison missing a lot of stuff, but um, look at her screening. It's really pretty. I don't think I have another Mycene doll with the screening quite like this, or at least this one, I think this one might be printed too high and that's what's making me see that, but she's really interesting. I really like this dress. She has really cute shoes with glitter applied to them. She's really cute. Uh, her hair is amazingly soft, by the way. Yeah, the Junglicious dolls specifically are like, oh my God, the hair is so, so nice. So cute. I'm really excited about her. I think she looks really good in this color, too. This is just a gorgeous color. And if I'm wrong about the line that she's from, sorry. Again, like, with, with my scene, I roughly know what they all look like, but I try to avoid doing too much research on them because I really like them, and I've already been influenced to spend more than I probably should on some Mycene dolls. The most I've spent was, I think, 75 on one in box. Uh, so... I haven't gone too far, but there's been a few times that I, and that's more than I spend on any other dolls in my collection, by the way, like other than Disney limited editions, which I'll spend up to like 200 each on, um, very specific situations. I will spend that much. Uh, but the majority of the dolls in my collection, I do not spend more than retail for, or like up to like $40. That's kind of my limit. So my scene, I really, really like, and I'll spend more on, <laughs> um, anyway. Okay, so this is Golden Bling. This is Golden Bling Kennedy. Oh my god, her hair is soft. Wow, I didn't... It's hard to gauge if something is like amazingly well-treated Saran or Kanekalon. I do actually think this is Kanekalon, but maybe I'm wrong. Probably wrong. Uh, but wow, this is soft. Oh, I love this. Um, and 
yeah so she is gorgeous i love this yellow dress this is a very like iconic my scene dress to me even though this is a really rare line you don't really see every day but i just i just love it oh she's gorgeous and golden bling is one that i didn't discover existed until like 2022 2021 sorry when i started collecting my scene when i looked into it i was like <laughs> when I discovered these dolls because I had only known about like the ones that I had as a kid and a couple of others like the movie lines I didn't really know how many lines my scene actually got and I suspect a lot of us my scene like in people that were like lightly into my scene probably don't know about a lot of these other lines because they were just so uncommon in the US if they were even released here so um anyway she has such soft hair and there's like brown mixed in hard to tell really really pretty oh my goodness so cool so i think they're missing all their like bling or whatever but that's fine like it's okay okay and then we have all of our accessories sorry i flipped the camera because don't you want to actually be able to see the things that i'm showing you <laughs> um so this is a bunch of jewelry so i suspect these three go to the um golden bling dolls i mean obviously especially that one um, really, really cool. And then we have this necklace and I'm really excited about the jewelry because usually I get my dolls secondhand, right? So you see me like I go thrifting all the time and especially earlier in my collecting days, um, that was my main thing was I would get things at thrift stores or it would be like a brand new doll from the store. So when you're collecting vintage, I usually just write off the idea of ever getting doll jewelry, right? So, um, when I started collecting brats, that was the thing. Like, I don't care if I don't, if I get the jewelry, right? But then I got a couple of my dolls just luckily secondhand. They came with a lot of their jewelry and I was blown away by how much better they look. Of course, as the designers intended them to look, right? Uh, but now I'm like, oof, I wish I'd tried harder to get more like tiaras and necklaces and bracelets and stuff because they really add so much to the look. Um, so here's some purses. Really, really cute. So this one is a recolor of, I have a spring break one, but I don't know if that was the original um, line that it came from and then we have these two that I don't recognize and then I think this probably goes to Junglicious but I don't know not a big comb connoisseur and then we have some really cute pink shoes these are awesome no idea who they go to but I love them and then we have a bag of goodies so I know these boots right here these I um like asked and I'm really excited so we have this goes to um noli from jammin in jamaica right i don't remember um it's a jammin in jamaica top i think um and then we have this not sure who it goes to <laughs> and then oh my gosh this is so cute <gasps> oh, i love this oh, i always love that they have the little snap instead of the velcro it's so it's so nice this is really cute i love the little tassels and then, ooh, cute. This is a beautiful color. Really like this. And then we have this little top. Maybe these go together. I don't know. Both extremely cute. I love the like, is this like macrame? Is that what that's called? I love the inclusion of that on a lot of my scene stuff. And then we have this little jacket. We've got a bunch of shoes in here. So first of all, these are not my scene. These go to the Jockey Pret Siosi witch, witch dolls. And I had just asked, like, hey, since you happen to be in Europe, uh, do you have any, like, witch dolls or anything? And they had these boots. So I was like, yes, thank you. <laughs> um, okay, and then we have these shoes, which are the same as these, but not as pink and fun. And then we have these ones. These are super cute. Very 2000. Sorry, my ring is way too big. Um, really cute. And then these little boots. Really interesting, the way the heel and stuff is. These are absolutely darling. And then these, which I think go to a Madison, right? I think I have these. All right, now I'll show you the dolls. All right, so let's look at them up close now. So first we have Icy Bling Delancey, who looks so pretty. I seriously can't get over her face. Like that makeup look is so gorgeous really really pretty and i love this outfit really beautiful dress and then we have our junglicious dolls um they're very prone to eye wonk so like i knew that going in but delancey actually looks really really good um and i love their hair their hair is so nice and then their outfits 
they are gorgeous i love them i'm so excited about them oh i wonder if that purse i didn't double check this but maybe that's her purse i would check out giving that to her even if it's not hers it it works you know okay and then we have our golden bling girls so madison i don't think that's her necklace i still think it probably goes to a golden bling doll but um i looked at the stock photos they're really hard to look at though like they are really blurry um but this didn't appear to go to either of these two but it's really cute um but this is indeed golden bling madison i think she's that i think that's her main outfit um she's gorgeous so so pretty and maybe someday i'll get more of her stuff but she's displayable to me i think um but kennedy is like complete She's missing, like, I think a cuff thing here, but I don't think she had anything else with jewelry. But I love dolls with tiaras, which is unusual, actually. There's not a lot of tiara dolls for some reason. Well, there is a lot, but there should be way more, is my point. Um, I love the dress. And then the shoes. This is a really pretty doll. I need to vacuum, sorry. <laughs> and then we have Snow Glam Kennedy, who is beautiful. So I do think that's her necklace. It was hard to tell in the photos, but I do think that's hers. And she's awesome. This is also her bag. I love the tights too. I am so overjoyed about these. I think they're gorgeous. I think my favorite, uh, unexpectedly her, she's definitely a favorite. I think it's, uh, I don't know. Well, like, inevitably the most complete ones because, like, they're the closest to the original vision for the doll, so they always look really perfect. Um, so I'm inclined to point to these two, but I really was, like, shocked by her. Um, I really, I think she has the best face out of all of these. This Delancey is so pretty. I also, I do think this one's misprinted. Like, I think her eyes are way too high up, but doesn't she look so interesting? I really like her face. But this one, I love her eye color. And... Her, like brown hair with bangs so cute yeah i think the kennedys who have the most of their stuff i just really like the blinged out dolls like the bling lines are all my favorite lines because they have all the extra jewelry and stuff and i think i do have some extra jewelry from some of my other bling dolls so maybe i can kind of distribute them among my other like this Madison especially, I really want to be able to display her. I mean, she'll be on display regardless, but I don't want her to look so incomplete next to Kennedy, who has like so much of her stuff. Um, but yeah, that's it for this video. If you guys are super familiar with my scene, let me know who your favorite is from any of these lines, even if it's one I'm not like showing right now. Um, I'm really excited that I, I think I'm only missing one from this line. Did they do Noli in this line? I suspect they didn't. Um, I don't recall. But I think I'm only missing Westley, Westley, <laughs> or Madison from this line. I'm not sure. Um, and then I have two dolls from this line, but I have Madison's outfit, which is kind of convenient. Maybe someday I'll find her uh, nude. I don't know. Um, and then I only have one for my sibling. So this is my second one. She's not display worthy yet, but she's close. She is close to being displayable for sure. Um, but yeah, that's it for this video for all this time. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. Oh, and if you're not super familiar with my scene, just who among them is your favorite? Who do you see the most potential in? Because I know it's kind of not fair that these two are, like, so complete. And the Junglicious girls are pretty complete, too. Um, so these two kind of got left out. But, like, really look at their little faces. They're gorgeous. Gorgeous dolls. Okay, for all this time, thanks so much for watching. Bye. Oh! <gasps> Cameo. Hi, Mama! In my scene, girl. <laughs> um... I'm redoing my shelves, so please excuse that there's, like, Bratz things encroaching on Monster High. I'm always redoing my shelves. Hi! Hey, Muffin. You're so cute! Oh my goodness. Okay, bye. <laughs>